Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the five tallest buildings in New Kingston. Now, four out of the five of the tallest buildings in New Kingston are on Knoxford Boulevard. So it's safe to say Knoxford Boulevard is probably the most popular street in New Kingston. I guess you could say it's the heart of New Kingston. Okay. Now, New Kingston has, it's the financial district of Jamaica and also Kingston. We're driving through New Kingston now. We're on Dominica Drive. Okay, we should slow down. You can see a lot of buildings, a lot of commercial buildings, a lot of hotels, but um, we're going to look at five in particular, or we're going to look at five in detail. Straight ahead, that used to be the Wyndham Hotel, and it's a very tall building, but it didn't make the list of the five tallest. The tallest building in Jamaica is the Pegasus Hotel, which is on Knotsford Boulevard. We're going to look at that now. The second tallest building in New Kingston the official name is the R. Danny Williams Building. It's also known as the LOJ Center. The third largest building, and sorry, the Danny Williams Building is actually the tenth largest building in Jamaica, but the second tallest, I should say, tallest in New Kingston. The third tallest in New Kingston is the Pan Caribbean Towers. Okay, straight ahead, that blue building, that's the Pegasus. The third largest, why do I keep saying largest? The third tallest building. We're talking about the tallest buildings in New Kingston now. The third tallest building is the Pan Caribbean Tower. That's the official name. In Jamaica, let us call it the Pan Caribbean Building. That one is um, the 11th tallest building in Jamaica. The fourth tallest building in New Kingston is the Courtly Hotel which we're going to look at shortly. And the fifth tallest building in New Kingston is the Citibank building. And as I said, four of the five buildings are located on Knotsford Boulevard. The only one that's not located on Knotsford Boulevard is the Danny Williams building, which is located on Barbados Avenue. Okay, so let's start looking at the buildings. That's the Pegasus, it's a hotel. Now that is the tallest building in Jamaica. It's 17 floors. And we're going to rank the buildings by the number of floors. Where there is a tie, like two buildings have the same number of floors, then we look at the height. But that's, the height of the Pegasus is actually 60.96 meters. And the next tallest building in New Kingston is 43 meters. So that gives you an idea of how tall the Pegasus is. Okay, straight ahead now, that's the Courtley Hotel. That's the fourth largest building in Jamaica. That building is 12 floors high. So the Pegasus is 17 floors and the Courtley is 12 floors. That's the Courtley there. And then behind it is what used to be the Wyndham but it's closed down now and I'm not sure what the name of that building is. Just looking at these buildings, the Wyndham looks taller than the Pegasus and the, the Courtly, but it's not on the list of the tallest buildings. Very strange. Okay, that building there. That building. Okay. The white building now coming up on our view, that's the Pan-Caribbean Tower. That's also 12 floors, but it holds the rank of number three in New Kingston, I guess because of the height. Beside it is, whoa, whoa, whoa. We were looking at the buildings and never realized that the light was red. 
and we did that right in front of the New Kingston police station. Luckily the car coming down realized what was going on so thankfully there was no accident. Okay, the building on the right, that grey building is it's a Sagicor building. Sagicor Sigma is the name on the outside of the building. It looks very tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, it only has 10 floors. So that's probably why it wasn't on the list of the top five. Okay, so we looked at the Pegasus, we looked at Pan Caribbean, we looked at the court. Oh, silly me. That's a Citibank building. Is that Citibank? Yes, that's the Citibank building. That building. <laughs> These buildings just look so tall from the road that. They all look tall, but the building that we said was a Sagicor Sigma. I don't know how the building name changed, but that's the Citibank building. So we're going to turn around and look back at that building. And then we look at the Sagicor building after that. Okay, so straight ahead on the left, that's the Citibank building, but it looks like it's been renamed the Sagicor Sigma building. I'm not sure when that happened. On the right, that white building, that's the Pan Caribbean building. So the Pan Caribbean is the third largest, third tallest, with 12 floors. The Courtly is the fourth, which we looked at earlier, also with 12 floors. And the Citibank building, which we're looking at straight ahead on the left, is the fifth largest, and that also has 12 floors. So it looks like 12 floors seem to be the popular number of floors for these buildings. But even though they all have 12 floors, they go off the height to rank them 1 through 5. Okay, so now we're going to look at the second tallest building in New Kingston, which is the Danny Williams building, or more popularly known, the LOJ Center. We're now going on to Barbados Avenue. Now remember, four out of the five tallest buildings in New Kingston are on Knotsford Boulevard. Now this building is the second tallest building in New Kingston. Okay, we're going on. Hang on. Let's do this. This is the R. Danny Williams building. This is what we should have done with the buildings. Use this angle view. There you go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.